Groove Agent 1 is the new drum machine sample player that comes with Cubase 5. It has some very, very unique features, but let's start with the basics first. Every drum machine plugin needs to come with a large variety of drum sounds, and Groove Agent 1 has that. If we go to the sound browser, we can look at all the different drum kits that it comes with. But for example, let's start off with the Hard Rock kit. When we load that drum kit, all of the drum sounds are loaded onto these pads, and you can play the sound located on each pad by tapping the pad with your mouse. However, if you move your mouse to the lower part of the pad, the sound becomes softer, and if you move it to the top of the pad, the sound becomes louder. Now, most of the drum kits that come with Groove Agent 1 are multi-layered. Let's take the snare drum, for example. If I hit the middle of the snare pad, you'll notice that it sounds different from when I hit it softer. And much different when I hit it louder. Let's take a look at why. I'm going to come to the Pad Edit screen and hit the Voice tab. When I do that, you'll notice that across the top of the screen are four different layers. That's because each sound of this sampled snare drum were recorded at different intensities. So for example, if I hit the pad softer, I'm hearing layer number one. As I come up, layer two, layer three, and layer four. That makes a very, very believable drum kit when it's played all together, which I'll do now from a MIDI keyboard. That makes Groove Agent 1 a very expressive instrument. Now let's go through some of the other sounds. I'm going to load up the Banger Kit. When I load that drum kit, I get all new samples across my 16 pads. But I'm not limited to just 16 pads. Every drum set has up to 8 groups of 16 pads each. So there's plenty of locations for new sounds. Now let's take a look at the snare drum. You'll notice that there are 5 layers for this particular snare drum. Which make it very, very expressive. But then there's other things that we can edit about it. Not only can we change parts of the voice, we can also change the filter and the amplifier. For example, if that snare drum rang a little too long, I could alter its release, therefore making it not ring as long. but I like a big noisy snare drum, so I'm going to leave the release on 100%. Now, let's play that in context from a MIDI keyboard. The sound library that comes with Groove Agent 1 consists of not only real drum sets, but also drum machines, percussion, and everything in between. And the ability to go in and edit any of the drum sounds that you want is really great. You also have multiple audio outputs to route individual sounds from Groove Agent 1 into the Cubase mixer for different EQs and effects. Now, let's talk about some of the more unique features. One great feature is the ability to drop and drag your own sounds onto each pad. But you can also import Akai MPC samples. And I downloaded some this morning from a great site called gotchanodden.com. And I'm going to load one of their Akai MPC samples into Groove Agent 1. When I do that, I now have all of my Akai drum samples loaded onto the pads. Let's take a listen. Hey, that's a great library of TR-808 and 909 drum samples that you can load directly into Groove Agent 1, along with any other Akai MPC formatted sample libraries. Now, to show you the next really unique feature of Groove Agent 1, I'm going to erase everything that's in it. And then I'm going to go out to Cubase, where I have a drum loop. This drum loop sounds like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice that loop into different sections using the audio editor in Cubase 5. Then I'm going to open Groove Agent 1 again, 
and I'm going to drag that loop on top of the very, very first pad of Groove Agent 1. Now, every single slice is on its own pad inside of Groove Agent 1. And by using the exchange feature, I can drag that sliced loop as MIDI information onto an instrument track. And what I end up with is a perfectly timed, completely editable version of that loop. Now I can take every single segment and move it. and even layer multiple slices together. So that's Groove Agent 1. It has a huge sample library. You can also drop and drag your own samples onto it. You can import Akai MPC compatible file formats, and you can do the loop slicing and MIDI exchange into Cubase. It's a very, very powerful, unique VST instrument. And now we're going to move on to something that you can use with Groove Agent 1, which is a new MIDI plugin called the Beat Designer.